What is up guys? It's a beautiful day. We're out dry humping Alice. So I got a bit of advice for you that might hurt some feelings, but it needs to be said. And it could very well be the best piece of advice you ever get. We've got the shoes, the ruck. We've been playing with it. We go camping, we test all our gear. Maybe you've actually did practice scenarios, actual bug out rehearsals. But in keeping with the theme of rehearsing, what is the one crucial factor that's missing? I'll give you guys two hints. You're on foot and you should be rehearsing stuff. Put those two together. What am I doing right now? And what have I done a lot of videos on? If you said fitness, you got it. You win a cookie. Let me just say that this video is not to call anybody out. It's not to pick on anybody. I'm not judging anyone. But out of all the bushcrafting, bug out, shit hitting the fan videos I've seen, I've only seen a handful of guys that would actually be prepared to put all that crap on their back and move. And I don't mean go for a nice stroll. You hear I'm breathing heavy climbing this bitch of a hill. I mean, move like somebody is actually chasing you because it's very well possible they will be. So you've got all that gear, all the cool equipment, and you even have the skills to survive on your own in the wild. But here's the thing, guys. If you can't even bug out physically and get out into the woods, none of that matters. It's all irrelevant. You know, it's kind of like those Call of Duty kids. They know every single gun we've ever used. <laughs> they know all the tactics. They could tell me a guy that's actually been in combat is a grunt, what combat is a grunt is like. And they're like 14 year old kids, but they weigh 200 pounds. It's like, dude, <laughs> you couldn't even survive to get to the fight. You would pass out leaving the base. Let me pull it back a little bit. Like I said, we're not here to judge. But that's a key factor that a lot of people in the Western world are passing up these days. I'm not gonna beat that up anymore. You've realized how important fitness is to your whole bugging out, shit hitting the fan. Or hey, just, you know, camping. Just if you're like a hiker, camper, bushcrafter dude, you like to go out and play with your stuff. Being in shape helps make all that a lot more enjoyable, okay? You're not smoked, walking around, doing your thing you can get to cooler places to practice your trade. And think about it, being able to go where other people can't, that can save your life in an actual bug out situation because you might be able to get to places who, that whoever's looking for you or whoever you're running from can't get to themselves. And that right there is enough to say, okay, well, I wanna to try to be fitter than the other guy. A good start is just to keep in mind the combat, whatever military fitness mentality. Don't just go sign up for CrossFit. You don't need to piss away your money and get broken or have some office person tell you about combat. Start watching some actual military combat fitness videos. The Army stuff, Marine Corps, don't get too crazy about the SF stuff because that's all pretty elite stuff. You don't want to just go get strong and big and fat or fatter. And you don't want to just go run. You need to be overall fit, kind of like the soldier fitness, the way we train for war these days, because you need all of those. You need all the components of fitness. I have a number of videos up on this topic, okay? So I have all the basics you need to get started with rucking. And rucking, what I'm doing right here, that's basically how you can start preparing yourself to carry everything you're gonna need in a survival situation, all right? Put on a ruck, maybe add an extra few pounds, you know, but it's all in those videos how to get started. Another thing, so on your fitness journey, you'll learn how important some of the shit you're carrying is and how important some of it isn't, okay? You'll also learn that you need to carry a whole lot more water than you ever thought. You'll realize what about five, six, seven liters of water 
feels like on your back on top of all the other crap you're lugging around and you'll start to rethink the rest of your loadout the physical aspect of it just gives you a chance to get out and do the practical side of it okay you have all the theory down you have all the gear you've done some research you have a plan on where you might go now get out there and practice it all right implement your plans actually go to the spots you're thinking you would go don't get stuck in the day-to-day -day grind of pre-workout hour hour and a half workout post-workout and you're done okay in any kind of combat sense or survival sense that doesn't make sense at all right you could be on the move all day or all night you know you might have to run jump run for a long time walk for a long time you might have to climb you know you never know so you have to kind of be prepared for as much as possible and that does not mean you know pre and post workout all the time so just start thinking about that if it's shitty weather go outside and ruck in shitty weather sometimes i will purposely go do a ruck when it's pouring down raining just to kind of suck a little bit maybe test out a new rain jacket i got or something like that some new shoes you know if you're like already a bushcraft survivalist type person chances are you're already putting your gear through those tests so you need to start putting yourself through those tests you know your gear is going to be able to handle all kinds of stuff can you handle all that can you handle days on the run with little to no food can you go without coffee and pre-workout you know you never know man so guys i hope you enjoyed this one i hope you learned something thanks for joining me thanks for listening to all my crap if you have any questions on this topic or anything else i've done feel free to hit me up on any of my sites it's absolute veteran across the board or feel free to hit me up in the comments below please like and share because youtube don't like us folks and i hope to see you guys out in nature sometime hiking whatever camping shooting maybe i'll see you guys at the veteran retreat if you don't know about that go check that video out and i'll see you guys next time take care